What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list. And thankfully, the Don has you all covered on today's subject because we are going to be discussing different Oreo products and flavors, and I am freaking excited, man. This list has been on your mind for quite a bit, so I'm glad to see that you're happy. No kidding, man. He's happier than a midget with a step stool. For once, you're actually completely right, Joe, because I get to rate the greatest creation known to man, and that, of course, is the Oreo. I mean, I would say it would be space travel or our modern-day electronics, but hey, to each their own. That's because you're a nerd Barack. A true American would know that the best thing to ever be invented is any type of food. Who the hell cares about space travel? Tell me, are you going to space anytime soon? Well, uh, not me personally. Exactly. God, sometimes you just want to be different for the sake of being different. Look at Joe over here who is never ashamed of being who he is. Darn tootin', the Joe Dingo Mandingo will never change his ways, and I do it for all the Joe heads out there. Never change, Joe, never change. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got Oreo Thins. Who the hell even came up with the idea of Oreo Thins? Like, if you want to be healthy, then you shouldn't even be eating Oreos in the first place. But now you're trying to pass off these Oreo Thins as a healthier alternative to include less cookie on the outside and less filling on the inside. Hell no. Not in my neighborhood because I have this garbage repugnant invention going into D tier. Makes sense that you wouldn't like Thins Donald. It's what you can never be and you hate it for that. Joe, I am naturally bulky. We've talked about this. And no, I genuinely just hate it for being the inferior product. Like if you truly want a smaller sized Oreo package, then just get the minis because those actually serve the purpose of being a snack. The Thins are just a shittier version of our normal and beloved Oreos. And I refuse to stand here and let them massacre my boy. You know what, Donald? You seem extremely passionate about the subject, so I actually am gonna just believe in your reasoning for it. I barely have Oreos, and when I do pig out, I choose the double stuff one, so I'm not really super informed. Oh man, don't even get me started on those double stuffed ones, because you'll have me coming, coming to a great conclusion on where I should rate them, that is. And speaking of the double stuff, we got them right next, and you all already know where the Don is going to place his beloved double stuffed Oreos, because if this isn't an S tier, then crucify me on the cross. I like to get my two double stuffed Oreos and take them off the top and make a super mega stuffed Oreo. It uh, doesn't taste as good as the filling can be overpowering, but hey, the fact that I can do it is amazing. Get me some milk for some dunking, and you got yourself a happy Donald. I'd be more happier than Joe in an elementary school. Whoa, whoa, let's not take it that far. I doubt you'd be able to compete with my levels of joy in that scenario. You disappoint me so much, Joe. That's our Joe, all right. Anyways, moving on, we got the fudge-covered Oreos, and you might be thinking to yourself, man, this has to be an auto S tier, since Donald loves himself chocolate and can't have enough of it. Well, you'd be wrong. This is the true case of too much a, a, of a good thing, because I actually don't really like the fudge-covered Oreos. I think they get rid of the original taste of the Oreo, and it just ends up tasting more like fudge than anything else. Then you also get a worsened dipping ability because of the outer coating of fudge, and you just got yourself a B tier at best on your hands. See, dipping has never been that big of a thing for me. I know you're supposed to enjoy Oreos by dipping them in milk, but you see, the Joe Dog has a different method for his milk to cookie consumption. I like to get a large glass and make sure it's big enough to fit a spoon in and a bunch of cookies. Then you get your Oreos, and you make a clean tower of them all the way up to the top of your glass. Then after you have all that prepared, you then grab the milk from your fridge and let it rip right in that glass till it almost fills it up all the way. Then you simply just scoop up the Oreos with a spoon and it'll be washed up. Chocolate cookie goodness. The best part is that after you're done eating all of it, you're left with a glass of Oreo and milk mixture and then you can just gulp it all or start a whole new tower of cookies. Doesn't that all sound amazing? Joe, that sounds kind of awful. Seems like too many Oreos would get lost in the milk. I'll tell you what it sounds like, Barack. It sounds like a goddamn crime against humanity, and we should strip Joe of every single Oreo packet that he has in his house. Go ahead, I do the same thing with Chips Ahoy and most other cookies. Dear God, it is so much worse than I imagined. I need those men in black mind wipe machines because listening to that made me almost die from cringe. Moving past that despicable conversation, we got fudge-covered Oreos, but thin edition. I'm giving this a C tier because at least this time, they aren't ripping you off as much 
because at least now you got a coating of chocolate for your thin ass anorexic Oreo. After that, we got another entry that I think many people will be taken aback by because I don't really think that chocolate cream Oreos really elevate its flavor. I still think they're solid and quite honestly might be better than the fudge covered ones, but I have not had them in so long that I can't verify that claim. So I am gonna play it safe and just place this into B tier as well. Never heard you say you were going to play it safe before? You always just say some ridiculous shit, but I guess that's just how serious you take Oreos. Damn straight, Barry. Moving on, we got mini Oreos, and honestly, for me, this is yet another S tier. These are the perfect snack-sized Oreos, and they do not skimp out on the product, but rather they are a perfect miniature version of our already beloved Oreo, and how could you not like that? I know damn well that when I get these, I'm gonna get the classic Oreo experience, but in small bits that just accumulate to an explosion of flavor inside my mouth. Yeah, but couldn't you do the same thing with the normal Oreos, but just put them in a Ziploc bag or something? Joe, I'm gonna look sped as fuck holding around a Ziploc bag of Oreos. People are going to think I lost my caretaker and are going to start talking to me super slow and start calling me their little buddy. And then I have to kindly explain to them that I'm a grown ass man who can take care of himself. But then it'll only infuriate you even more when they respond with, I know you are champ. Let's go ahead and find your mommy or daddy, or maybe even your auntie or uncle. God, I'll kill that person's ass if I saw them again. Uh, what do you mean by again? Is this something that actually happened to you? No, I was just describing something that happened to a friend and let me tell you, that it was the wrong day to wear the propeller hat and bow tie I got from the festival that day. But anyways, enough of that, because after that, we got something that I know some people don't like, but quite honestly, golden Oreos are pretty good. I don't think they belong in S tier, but I'll put some respect on their name because they are not bad at all. I think a solid A tier is not a disrespectful tier to put them in because they have the same creamy goodness, but instead of chocolate, you get more of a vanilla cookie outside and I quite like it, to be honest. It's a nice change every now and then when you've had too many of the classic Oreos. Hell no, I refuse to have that white Oreo in my mouth. It is the devil's Oreo, and it has too much vanilla tasting things in it. Like not only is the outside layer vanilla, but then you have the white cream inside. That's a certified C tier, if not D tier on that one, Donald. Joe, with all disrespect intended, I refuse to value the opinion of a man with your track record, and that's not even me being mean, that's just me being as candid as possible, like it's not your fault. You was born that way. Damn straight, Joe Feasty has his strong opinions and I will fight anyone on them. Joe, let's be honest, you won't fight anyone and you'd probably run the first chance you get. This motherfucker can't even run a stove. How in the hell do you expect him to walk, much less run from a fight? It amazes me how much faith you have in him, Barry, but whatever because up next we got the normal chocolate filling Oreos and they'll go next to their double stuffed brother in B tier because once again, I can't truly verify how good or bad they are, but I feel like I remember them being in that tier. Like I don't know about everyone else, but C tier feels too low, but A tier feels too high. Then we get to B tier and it feels just right. Since when did you turn into Goldilocks? Listen, man, that was my genuine opinion on it. But anyways, moving on to our second to last entry, we got the tried and true classic Oreo. Now you have to be a downright fucktard to believe that these gifts from up above are not certified S tier bangers. Like this is the most purest form to enjoy your Oreos and one can argue that double stuffed Oreos are better. But why must we argue about trivial things when instead we can join hand in hand as Oreo lovers and just admit that these two are the tastiest cookie on the planet barring Girl Scout cookies, of course, but I say that two legends can coexist and will fight anyone if they think that the normal Oreos belong anywhere else. That was a very passionate speech, but I don't think you said anything crazy, nor do I think anyone will argue with you. Now, wait a minute. I have a problem with this ranking. I think that the classic Oreo should be placed in S++ tier. Joe, we don't fucking have that on this list. Hmm, it appears that we do not indeed have that tier on this list. Allow me to gather my thoughts once again. Uh, hmm, ooh, hmm. Uh, I see now. I believe that S tier is truly where it belongs now. God, you piss me off sometimes, but when you do this sort of stuff to Barack, it's so funny that I have to let this slide. Anyways, moving on to our last entry, we got the most stuff Oreo, and this shit is just too overpowering. 
I can eat like one or two, maybe even 10 or 15 of these in one sitting, but my God, will I feel sick after and just not want to see an Oreo for a while. If you eat these in moderation, though, I'd have to give it an A tier. I mean, doesn't that really apply to almost anything, Donald? Like, of course, we should all be consuming things with moderation and caution in order to avoid getting sick. Not the Joe dog, because he consumes like there's no tomorrow without a lick of moderation when it comes to some kitty.